What do you think is going to happen to this rubber band at some point of expanding and contracting? Expanding and contracting. Yep, you got it right. It is going to break. So, hey guys, Karen with Curl House. I am a licensed cosmetologist specializing in natural hair. I'm also a trichologist. So I am your hair loss, hair growth, and scalp care expert. Now, do you know that you can over moisturize your hair? Yes, there is something called moisture overload. And how do you know? You know your hair may have too much moisture when it feels gummy, it feels limp, it feels mushy when it's wet. Has anybody ever experienced that? Let me tell you what happens when you wet your hair. When you wet your hair, your hair strand expands. So I'm gonna use this rubber band as an example to show the hair strand expanding. So this is your hair strand. When you wet it, the, your hair strand fills up with water. It does this. And then it contracts. So it fills up with water and contracts. So it does this over and over and over and over and over and over again. And what do you think is going to happen to this rubber band at some point of expanding and contracting? Expanding and contracting. Yep, you got it right. It is going to break. So a lot of times we are experiencing breakage because of moisture overload for our hair. And today I'm going to give you two quick tips, two things that you can do differently to minimize hygro fatigue, because that's what it's called when it's, when your hair is expanding and contracting too much, taking in too much moisture that is called hygro fatigue. And I have two tips that's going to help you. Okay, tip number one is to pre-poo. Pre mean before, poo, shampoo. So before you shampoo, you want to prep your hair with a penetrating oil before you shampoo it. Now I'm gonna recommend my favorite, coconut oil. I love, love coconut oil, but coconut oil is a penetrating oil. Therefore, when you apply coconut oil to your hair, it gets on the inside of the hair strand. And that is exactly what needs to happen to minimize your hair strand taking up so much water when you shampoo your hair. That is key. Apply coconut oil all throughout your hair. I'm going to recommend the night before you shampoo your hair. I think you get the best results if you're, that coconut oil can penetrate through your hair shaft all throughout the night. So do it the day before. But if you don't have eight hours to do it, then do it at least one hour before you shampoo your hair. It is really, really going to help uh, minimize that hygro fatigue. So, because the second thing that you can do is do protein treatments. Yes, protein treatments. So if your hair has too much moisture, then you are lacking the balance of protein. And I know a lot of us as naturals, we don't focus on protein treatments anymore um, because we really focus on moisture, which is great. But let's not forget protein treatments if your hair feels over moisturized. Protein will strengthen the hair. It'll strengthen the outer layer or the cuticle layer of the hair, giving it more strength, giving it more elasticity so that it's not just snapping off because it's so loaded with moisturizer. So protein treatments, try protein treatments and doing a pre-poo and I can guarantee you that your hair will be stronger and healthier and you will experience less breakage. Now below, I will drop some of my favorite protein treatments down below um, so that you can review them and pick one that you think is going to be best for you. Well, I hope you enjoyed this tip for today. Please subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification if you are interested in more tips on how to keep your hair and scalp healthy and growing. And until we talk again, stay back.